We're here at the University of New Hampshire and we're going to show you how to punt. Sam Lenson from Lenson Punting and Kicking is going to show you exactly how to punt, even if you've never punted before. We're going to take you step by step and show you the punting process. Let's check it out. So we're going to transition now to punting. We're here with Sean Lahane, the starting punter at the University of New Hampshire, and we're going to talk about um, all things punting. We're going to start with how to hold the ball, okay? When we hold the ball, we talk about our handshake, handshake grip, okay? So if I were to take this ball out of Sean's hand, all right, he'd be going to shake my hand. I put that ball back in, all right, he's going to want to handshake it. One thing we don't want to do, all right, when we go to hit, have the ball is we want to have, we call this the butt end of the ball. This is the nose. We don't want to have the butt sticking out because this is going to bring the nose down. We want to hide the butt all right, with our handshake right here. Okay, That left hand is going to stay on the ball to make sure that it stays even the entire time. Okay, So our, our, our setup is super important. If you notice, all right, I'm going to bring you up for a second, Sean, right here. All right, This ball is not straight. All right, We talk about a clock. This would be 12 o'clock. Okay? We want to make sure we're here. We're at 11. 30, 11.45, and you see this Wilson sign and the lace? We call this the river, all right? This river right here should be flowing up through Sean's shoulder, okay? So if you're here, all right, and this is turned in, the river is flowing outside of the shoulder, all right, or inside the shoulder. We want to make sure the river, all right, is flowing right through his shoulder. He's at 11.45, and he's in a great position to make contact with the ball. Okay, so it's all about our grip and how we hold on to it to start. So when we talk about punting, we all starts with, a, with our start, okay? Sean starts with his right foot in front, his left foot slightly back. He's a two-step punter. So what he's gonna do is he's gonna take that first step with his right foot, all right, then left, all right, and then he's gonna drive that leg up and through, all right? As a young specialist, as a high school punter, as a middle school punter, all right, you may want to start with your left foot in front, right foot sl sl uh, slightly back, all right, and may go a two and a half step. So he's, what he, Sean's going to show, he's going to show his left foot, his right foot, and then he's going to be able to get up and through it. The last thing that we want is to get big with our steps, okay? If you're driving to the hole doing a layup, all right, if you're going to go do a layup in basketball, you're not going to get huge to then get up and get through, all right? We wanna stay small, all right, and be able to drive up and through. It's all about using our hips to be getting through the ball. So we talk about our stance and start. The other thing is we don't wanna to be too wide because as a, as a punter, as a human being, we naturally walk, all right, close together. So that's how we wanna be when we start. We wanna be in a ready position, all right, close to, and we're ready to go, ready to punt, all right? Weight is forward. Okay, arms are to our side, and that's how we are gonna start our punt. Now, we're gonna talk about our catch. This is super important, all right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask Sean to show two, uh, two examples. First example is how a wide receiver would catch the ball, all right? So he's gonna bring his thumbs together, he's gonna catch it like a wide receiver. When we do that, all right, to then grip the ball, he's gonna have to change it and mold it, all right? Molding is when we get into this position. Okay, we wanna be able to get it and mold it quickly. So we don't wanna catch it like a wide receiver. We wanna catch it with pinkies together. I'm not telling Sean to be waiting out like this, all right, hands to the side, but he's gonna go and meet the ball with pinkies together to make it a very seamless transition from catch to mold. All right, molding it is making sure that the ball is right over our leg. We're about belly button height. Right here, we wanna stay in, the posi in this position. This is our drop table, all right? I usually refer this to, to high school kids. I want you to imagine mom, dad, guardian, whoever, had, there's a glass table, something very expensive you have at home is above this ball and then below this ball, all right? When we take our steps, we slide that ball on the drop table. If you look at a typical high school punter, all right, when they catch the ball, all right, and they're moving it, they're gonna be here, 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 and then finding their spot, all right? When we catch it, we're gonna be catching it, and we are gonna slide that on the drop table when we go to kick, okay? Less movement, less room for error, all right? More movement, more things that can go wrong, okay? One thing that I wanna reiterate with our catch as well, Sean's not gonna catch it into our body because that's wasted movement. We're gonna to have to get it back out. So one thing he's gonna do is he's gonna meet him out in front. He's gonna put meet the ball out in front. He's gonna put it on that drop table, all right? And he's gonna be able to slide it on the drop table. Again, less movement, less room for error, okay? When Sean catches the ball, 
all right, he puts it on his drop table, his chest is going to be slightly forward, all right? We don't wanna be back, all right, because then we lose our hips. Our hips are the most dri important driving factor when we do this. We wanna make sure our hips are forward, kinda like if you were hand cleaning in the gym. Hand clean here, we're gonna use our hips to get up and through the ball. So he's gonna be slightly forward, all right? When he goes to go punt the ball, you're gonna see his hips drive up and through, okay? That's gonna generate his height, power, and be able to get through the ball, all right? His steps are going to be natural and normal. Again, we talk about that. If you get big, all right, we lose our hips and we lean back. You'll see a lot of punters, all right, refer to as sitting in the chair. When they go to make contact, they're back like this, okay? We're losing all of our power when we do that. We need to stay up and stay forward to be able to drive the ball through, okay? So Sean's gonna show a good example all right, of staying forward. He's gonna make contact with the ball, drive it through. So right now we're gonna talk about our steps. All right, I have Sean on a line. All right, we talked about how his right foot is on, is uh, is in front, left foot's back. All right, what Sean's gonna do is he's gonna make sure, all right, we're gonna talk about good footwork. When he takes that first step, that right foot is gonna stay on the line. That second step, that left foot should stay to the left of the line. With that, he's able to drive that right leg straight up and through the ball. All right, what we see a lot of specialists do at the beginning, all right, when they're learning, is they stack. So we're gonna show a good example of a good first step, that first step, and watch the second step. That left foot is on the line. His right foot physically cannot go through his left foot, so he's gonna come out and swing around the ball. All right, when that happens, a lot of the times, this nose of the ball is gonna come up and we're gonna get a off rotation going right to left because we are gonna be swinging around the ball, okay? So we talk about, again, that stack, that right foot stepping straight, all right? That second step, or it could be even this right foot coming over, okay? But let's say it's a good first step here. We talk about that stack, left foot coming across. Again, physically cannot get through, all right? I'm going to have to swing around the ball. So again, a great drill is staying here, right foot on the line, left foot off, and then that ball gets dropped on the line. When we're here, if you guys look right here, we wanna make sure that our right arm is parallel to the ground. We don't wanna have it down like this, all right, because that's gonna affect our ball angle. We don't wanna have this up, but bend this elbow really quick, all right? You can see this is not parallel to the ground. We wanna make sure we're parallel to the ground, all right? River, right, in between Wilson or whatever logo, and Lace is flowing through that shoulder, all right? We're in a good spot. Awesome, now we're gonna go catch, mold, one, two, drop, okay? Deep breath. Catch mold, one, two, drop. Awesome. What we're looking to get out of our punt, all right, is great location, great accuracy. In this, take, in this case right now, we're just gonna punt down the field, okay? What we're trying to do is turn the ball over, okay? We talked about this is the butt end of the ball. This is the nose of the ball. When he kicks the ball, the nose should go up, all right? At the apex, at the highest point, this nose should turn down, all right? And then it should turn over. It's gonna increase, it's gonna make sure we have maximum height, distance, and hang time. All right, our hang time should be matching our distance down the field. It doesn't make sense for Sean to unleash a, a great punt of 70 yards and have a 3-1 hang time, all right? Then, our, then the operation, uh, our players are not gonna have enough time to go down there and cover, all right? So if he hits a 40-yard ball, it should be about 4.0 4 seconds of hang. All right, it should match 41, 4-1. All right, more hang time, the better ensures our operation, our team to get down there and cover, all right? Deep breath. Great ball. Awesome, you can see that nose turned right over. All right, great punt. So we're gonna talk about going in punts right now. So this is where you could flip the field and help your team win games, okay? So right now we're on the 45, all right? We're gonna be trying to pin the other team deep, all right? Sean is one of the best in the country with flipping the field, all right, and talking about our Aussie punt, our nose down punt, okay? So now I'm gonna show an example of our, uh, our snap. We talked about before, when we are not doing a regular or an Aussie punt, we're doing just a pro style punt. All right, we wanna catch with our pinkies together. For this one, it's okay to catch with our thumbs together because that's gonna make our drop much easier to get to and our mold much easier to get to. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna show an example. All right, I throw the ball to Sean, he's gonna work the catch. All right, from there, Sean's gonna keep his steps the exact same. Kind of talk about how you position the, the ball, Sean. 
So for this one, we're gonna go from kind of the handshake grip we talked about before. We're gonna move it to a soda can grip is what I call it. So your hands gonna be like that, like pretty much like you have a soda can in it. Fit the ball. Then we want the back line of the ball to shoot through our hip. So we can keep everything going straight. And then angle wise, once you have it in that soda can grip, you don't want the ball com completely down or else you're gonna hit the nose of the ball when you make contact. So the trick for this is I like to catch it, keep it straight down, and then going into your swing. Slightly move it forward. Push the nose out a little bit on the bottom of the ball. So when you make contact, you're right there. You still get that meat of the ball. So Goal is to hit that end, and end over end punt so it bounces backwards. Mm -hmm. What Sean is trying to say is that you don't want to drop this straight down on it because then, then we're going to make direct contact to our foot, all right, which is going to hurt the foot, but also you're not going to get much power, much pop to it. All right, so he's saying keep this thing flat. All right, at last second, he's slightly moving this up. So instead of making direct contact right here on the foot, it's slightly forward. He's going to be able to drive through it all right, to be able to get that rotation and have it bounce back or off to the side. Okay, Sean, so we're gonna show an example of this right now. Good. Okay, so Sean's gonna work that catch to the soda can drop, all right? Again, changing the field, flipping direction, all right, and helping us win games. Great spot, all right, gives him ample time, bounces back and off to the side. That right there landed on the five, goes to the seven, you know, puts our team in a better position to help win games. It's game day, all right? We're ready to go. We need to make sure that we're prepared to go in the game and, uh, and make, a, make a great play, help our team win, win a game by flipping the field. All right, again, on defense, all right, if defense is out on the field, we're, we're ready to go. We're just we're enjoying the game. We're watching it, okay? When offense is on there, we got to make sure, especially when we're deep in our own end, all right, when we're not in field goal range, we got to prepare like we're going we're gonna to go out there and punt. Again, we're not watching first down, second down, third down. All right, we got to make sure we're preparing. If we want to watch, Buy a ticket, be in the stands, all right? We want to make sure that we're out here, we're ready to go. So let's say it's first down, Sean's just going to stay loose, all right? He's stretching, making sure that he's ready to go. Second down, he's going to grab a ball, all right? Let's say our kicking net is right here, all right? So Sean, all Sean's going to do is he's going to take a nice and easy, take a drop at second down. He's going to just be preparing, ready to go, all right? Third down, all right? Sean's going to take a couple steps back. Again, our kicking net's right here, all right? You're not going to kick this ball, but he would kick the ball, all right? Or he would punt the ball. Someone would be here, they'd give him a snap, all right, he would go through it and he'd punt the ball. All right, it's fourth down, fourth down, fourth down. All right, take a deep breath. Hayes in the barn, he's ready to go. All right, we're gonna jog out on the field. Again, we're not gonna jog. We're gonna jog from behind and then curl our way up to make sure that we're at our right spot. We're not gonna jog in, all right, and then jog back. We're gonna jog from behind and curl our way up. Sean's gonna stay on the 45. He's gonna do a soda can drop to flip the field. All right, and have the other team work 90 plus yards to get to the end zone. Good. Now that you learned how to punt, we recommend you check out this video next on how to kick field goals. If you want more drills on punting, we recommend you check the description below. You'll find Victory Pro. It's our all-in-one coaching solution, which has all the drills in there from Coach that you can check out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.